Hi, this video is about how to create a PeerCoin offline wallet using an Ubuntu live session from a bootable USB. I wanted to make this video because I'm a Ubuntu total novice and it actually took me a long time to figure out exactly how to do this. So I thought that there may be other people out there who want to do the same thing and are having a lot of difficulty, so I hope that this simplifies your life somewhat. So first, why PeerCoin? After doing some research, I actually really like how PeerCoin is being developed. I like the idea of the proof of stake rather than the proof of work going forward long term, and so I think that it's pretty interesting. Now, in order to do this, that is, create a wallet in an offline environment. What we're going to need is first, you'll have to make a bootable live USB key. Pay attention to which bit distribution you get, be it 32 or 64. Um, I'll include the link to how to set this up for whatever operating system you're on. I'm on a Mac um, so that you can do this. Secondly, we're going to need the actual PeerCoin PPCoin QT, and we can download that from SourceForge. I will include a link for that as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to restart our computer, and we're going to insert the bootable USB key, and since I'm on a Mac, I'm going to hold down option while I'm doing that. Okay, so as we see our bootable drive comes up, so we'll pick that. I don't know why it shows up twice. I also don't know why it says secure boot not enabled, but what we want to do is we want to pick the top option which is try Ubuntu without installing. So, while that is installing, I wanted to say why I think it's important to have offline storage, and that is really because you can never be completely, completely sure that there's nothing weird on your computer or a keystroke trojan is logging what you type. And so, because we're talking about your peer coins, I think that it makes a lot of sense to make sure that you create an offline wallet that has never ever seen the internet and the environment has never seen the internet. You can be absolutely sure and you can download the program, put it on a USB key and load it up in this Ubuntu live environment. So here we are in our Ubuntu environment. What I'm going to do is put in my other USB key that has the ppcoin uh, tar.gz on it. So what we'll do is we'll copy that over onto our desktop and once it's copied over there we go we're going to click extract here. Okay so that's good We'll close that. We see that we have a same named folder here. In the folder there are four things. There's bin, src, copying, and readme. The graphical user interface is located in bin and pick 64 if your distribution is a 64-bit distribution like mine is. Pick 32 otherwise. And then we have the command prompt ppcoined and we also have the ppcoin QT, which is a graphical user interface. So, I like graphical user interfaces, we'll pick that one. And as it loads up, it's great. So, we've got that here. Note that we are offline. We, it says here, disconnected. I don't have a actual landline. I am plugged into the router, I'm completely offline, and you can see down here that it says 
zero active connections. Now, here we can see for receiving coins, this is our receiving address. We can create a label for it, let's call it test, and we can copy that to the clipboard. We want to copy this to the clipboard so that way we know what the receiving address actually is. You should always test this first before you load an address absolutely chock full of peer coins. You want to make sure that it does in fact work. Um, you can use the peer coin equivalent of Blockchain Explorer and I'll include a link below for that in the comments to make sure that your transactions have gone through. But what we want to do, we've copied that to the clipboard so we'll open a text editor program and we can paste that address in and now we can save that let's call that test.txt we can save that right onto our USB key. Use the text format, and now you'll have access to that address without having to reload your wallet on a computer that is your regular computer or the online equivalent of your computer, your regular operating system. We just know what address to send pure coins to. So, you could, of course, create multiple addresses. Test 2, there's a new address. If you want to show the QR code for that sort of thing. Well, maybe the QR code didn't work right there, but that's okay. What you do want to do, and this is very important, is you want to encrypt your wallet with a very strong passcode. So, what you want to make sure is to exceed their recommendations. So, a bad passcode will be a man, a plan, a canal, Panama. So, we'll do that again. A man, a plan, a canal, Panama. That's a terrible password. You should have a very strong password of several, 10, 15 random words or 20 random characters and don't forget it because as it says here if you forget this then there is no way to get back into it you'll lose everything so yes we want to encrypt it will say it has to close to finish the process so i say okay and it closes and now when we click open you can see down here now there is a little lock the little lock says while it is encrypted and locked. So that's what we want. Now, we're almost done. We've created a install um, of the peer coin. I am the peer coin software. And what we've done is created a wallet and we've encrypted that wallet. Now the last thing that you need to do is actually get the wallet.dat file off of your distribution and onto your USB key because of course when we shut this down everything is gone. So what you want to do is you want to go to your home folder and you want to show hidden folders. So to do that you press Control H and all of these files appear and we want to go to the .ppcoin folder. So in the .ppcoin folder is your wallet.dat. This is the encrypted one, and we want to drag this onto our USB key, and clicking there, we can make sure that it's copied. So we've got the wallet.dat. We've also got our test.txt, which contains our receiving address. And essentially, that's all that we need to do. We can eject that USB key, and we're done, which is great. So. I hope that you found this helpful. I found it difficult to figure out how to get here originally, so I hope that this explains exactly what you need to do in terms of loading up Ubuntu 
and correctly installing and running the PureCoin client to generate an offline wallet, which you can then back up to a secure web server. Um, you can have multiple USB keys that you can keep around your house or put in a safety deposit box if you're paranoid. And again, I think that PureCoin is really going to stand up in the future because I think that the proof of stake system which is much less energy intensive than the proof of work algorithm used by Bitcoin is really going to be advantageous in the future. So with that, um, we're just going to close down this environment. Everything is going to be gone. Uh, so we'll shut down and that's it. Thank you very much.